Good morning everyone. Today in English, let's move on to a new chapter, Unit 6, My Dear Lamp. Before moving on to the chapter, we have a do and learn activity. Now let's see what's a do and learn activity. You can open your text, page number 79. So now let's read that. Make a paper lamp. So it's an activity of making a paper lamp. You will need chart paper, scissors, glue, colors and glitter. Now follow these steps. So now let's see what are the steps for making a paper lamp. Cut a rectangle from a chart paper. The size is given 24 centimeter into 12 centimeter. So you need to take a chart paper which is rectangle in shape and the measurement is given there 24 centimeter into 12 centimeter. Second step, fold the rectangle into half. Now take a rectangle and then fold it into half. Third step, with the scissors, make small cuts along the longer side of the folded chart paper. Take the help of an adult. So for this, you can take the help of your parents. You need to cut along the folded paper. Fourth one, open the folded paper. Then join the ends of the paper and stick them with glue. Now open it and fold it and stick it with glue. This is the body of your lamp. Fifth, cut a thin strip from the remaining chart paper. Stick the two ends of the strip to the top of the lamp to make the handle. Sixth, decorate the lamp with glitters and colors. Now your paper lamp will look like this. So this is your activity, make a paper lamp. Now let's move on to our next activity. You can see pictures of puppy here. Let's look at the question. Look at these pictures, write three describing words for each puppy. So you can see two puppies are given and what are describing words? We have learned describing words in our previous classes. So describing words, those words are called adjectives and those words which describe nouns are describing words. So you can write here sweet puppy, cute puppy, loving puppy, black puppy and so on. So you can write there describing words in your text. Now let's move on to our next page, page number 80. Before moving on to our story, we have a warm-up activity. Let's see what's a warm-up activity. Do you know the story of the lion and the clever rabbit? Narrate it in class. So you might have heard of the story of the lion and the clever rabbit. Now let's listen to the story once again. Once upon, in a forest, there lived a cruel and greedy lion. This lion used to hunt all the animals. Even though he was not hungry, he used to hunt all the animals. Now the animals were so scared of this lion. These animals held a meeting. They decided to approach the lion and tell that they will send an animal each day to the lion for food. And they decided to go to the lion and say this matter to him. So all the animals approached the lion and told him that each day they will send an animal to the lion for his food. Hearing this, the lion was so happy. So from that day onwards, the animals chose one animal and that animal was sent to the lion for that food. So one day it was the turn of a rabbit. This rabbit was so clever. He did not want to be eaten up by the lion. So what did he do? He just went slowly, slowly to the lion. By, by this time, the lion was growing impatient. He was getting angry, seeing no animal. The rabbit reached near the lion by sunset. By this time, lion was so angry and he asked the matter to the rabbit why he was so late. The rabbit replied that on his way he met another lion and that lion told him that he is the king of the forest. Hearing this, the king became furious. This lion became furious. He said that he wants to meet the other lion. So the rabbit agreed and the rabbit took this lion to the other lion. The rabbit told the lion that the other lion lives in a deep well and the rabbit took him to the well. Now the lion wanted to meet the other lion and he looked into the well and in the water he saw his own reflection. 
the lion thought that it was the other lion and he became angry and he wanted to attack the other lion and he jumped into the well and when he jumped into the well what happened he drowned in the water seeing this the rabbit was so happy and the other animals were also so happy that the rabbit saved them from the lion so this is the story of rabbit and the lion now let's move on to our today's story my dear lamp so this is a story of an old woman this old woman was also a very rich and intelligent woman so she used to live in a cottage near the hills and every day before cooking food before cooking the meal she used to pray to god and after having her meal she used to spin on her spinning wheel so you know what is a spinning wheel in olden days people use the spinning wheel to make thread out of cotton or wool so it was a habit that after having her meal she used to spin on her spinning wheel and nearby her there used to be a lamp also and because this woman was very rich thieves and robbers wanted to steal her money so one day when this old woman went out for washing utensils a thief entered the house and when she came back you know what did the thief do the thief hid behind the curtain and the woman understood that something is not right now let's see what happened so now let's move on to our story my dear lamp this story is taken from a manipuri folk tale so you know where is manipur manipur is just a state like kerala in india so manipur is a state in india so this is a manipuri folk tale and we have this story to read from this manipuri folk tale now let's read the story once upon a time in the hills there lived an old woman in her small cottage she was rich and intelligent thieves and robbers were always trying to steal the old woman's money so this old woman lived in a cottage so in a cottage is a small house usually a cottage will be in a village so she lived in a cottage near the hills she was rich and intelligent so this old woman was very rich and at the same time she was intelligent also and because she was rich thieves and robbers wanted to steal her money every day the old woman would first pray to god and then cook her meal after eating her food she would spin cotton on her spinning wheel with a small lamp burning near her so she had the habit of praying to god every morning before cooking her meal and after eating her food she used to spin cotton on her spinning wheel so this spinning wheel people used in the past to make threads out of cotton or wool so and when she used to spin there was a small lamp burning near her next page page number 81 one day when the old woman went out to clean her utensils a thief entered her cottage so what happened one day the old woman went out to wash her utensils and at this time a thief entered her cottage when he heard the old woman coming back he hid behind a curtain so he heard the old woman coming back before that he was not able he could not escape from this cottage so what did he do he hid behind the curtain the old woman entered the cottage and immediately knew that something was not right so when the old woman came back to her cottage she understood that something was not right she looked around and saw the thief's feet under the curtain so we saw that the thief hid behind the curtain the old woman could see the feet of the thief behind the curtain she knew that she was too old to fight with the thief so she knew that she was too old so if she fights with the thief she will not be able to win him so she just remained calm and we learned that she was an intelligent woman so let's see what she did and if she shouted the thief would kill her so the old woman thought of a plan so she did not shout because she knew if she shouted the thief would kill her so she just thought of a plan she sat down and started spinning cotton 
Suddenly she said, My dear lamp. Then after a pause she said again. Then after a pause she again said, My dear lamp, why are you not talking today? Is something wrong? Has a thief entered my house? So she just remained calm and she thought of a plan. What, she, what did she do? She sat down and started spinning cotton. Just as she used to do, she sat down and she started spinning cotton on her spinning wheel. And suddenly she said, we saw that near her spinning wheel, there used to be a lamp burning near her. So she suddenly said to the lamp, my dear lamp. Then after a pause, pause means she just stopped. And again she said, my dear lamp. So she's talking to the lamp. Why are you not talking today? So she's asking the lamp, why are you not talking today? Is something wrong? Is there anything wrong? Has a thief entered our house? When the thief heard this, he thought, the lamp must be special. It talks to the old woman. And because I am in the house today, it is not talking. So what did the thief think? The thief thought that this lamp had some magical powers. It was something special. So because the thief was inside, the lamp was not talking. So what did he do? And he thought that because I am, not, I am in the house today, it is not talking. If it keeps quiet like this, the old woman would come to know that I am here. So he thought that if the lamp doesn't talk, that the old woman would understand that the thief is inside. So he thought that he will talk now. So the thief thought of a trick. When the old woman called the lamp again, the thief pretended to be the lamp and said yes. So when the old woman kept on talking to the lamp, what did the thief do? He acted that he is a lamp and he replied yes. Now the old woman was sure about the thief in her house. She continued talking to the lamp. Now the old woman understood that there is a thief, that she was sure that the thief entered her house. But she kept on talking to the lamp. We'll turn to the next page, page number 82. I'll tell you a story today. This happened when I was young and your grandfather was alive. So now the old woman is telling a story to the lamp. And what is the story? This happened when I was young. This story happened when this old woman was young and her grandfather was alive. One day your grandfather got fish. I prepared a delicious meal but the fish was very spicy. So what did this old woman's grandfather do? One day he got fish and she prepared a delicious meal. But this meal was very spicy. So what do you mean by spicy? food that has lot of spices. So this fish was very spicy and your grandfather got angry at me. I got scared and started shouting, help, save me, help. So she is telling this story to the lamb that once when she was young, her grandfather got fish and she prepared a delicious meal. And because this meal was very spicy, grandfather got angry on her and she started shouting for help. How did she shout? Help! Save me! Help! So she started shouting like this. As soon as the old woman started shouting, the neighbors came to her house and caught the thief. So when she started shouting like this, the neighbors understood that something was wrong and they came to help her and caught the thief. So we can see that the intelligence, the clever lady thought at once and she saved herself from the thief. So this is the story of My Dear Lamp. Hope you all enjoyed. So read the chapter two times. We will be meeting in the next class. Till then, thank you.